We're going to talk about oil and what makes up oil. And I'm going to talk to you about standard oil first, and then towards the end, we'll talk about synthetic oils and organic oil, stuff that's uh, biodegradable oil. That's what I was thinking of. Heavy oils. First thing is, what's the difference? What's, I mean, if you go into Kmart and you look at their oil section, there's like shelves. You go to Napa down there, Napa's got a couple of rows. They carry about five different brands of oil from you know, Quaker State, uh, a couple of Napa brands, to Am's Oil. I mean, they got quite a few rows of oil. What's the difference? I mean, oil is oil, right? The name, Additive. The name is one. The big thing that's going to be different is going to be the additives. And so, yes, the base oil may be very similar, but what makes Quaker State different than Pennzoil versus Texaco or Chevron is going to be the additive package that's in there. And the additive package is very substantially different, and they're actually trying to market a different person. How many of you drive your cars at 120 miles an hour for eight hours straight on a racetrack every day? So if I'm watching television, I'm watching an ad for Pennzoil, and that guy's like, that's all I run on my uh, race car. Is that what you want to put in your car? Do you drive like that guy? So what is he trying to sell you? If you don't drive like a race car, 120 miles an hour continuously, is that the same oil that you want to put in your car when you run three or four blocks down to your apartment and then three or four blocks back and three or four blocks down to your apartment? Completely different driving environments. and so. The difference in the oil is these additives, and they have different target people for different driving environments. And we'll talk about what those additives are. The other difference is going to be the weight. That's the viscosity of it. And hopefully, you're following your operator's recommendation on what you should put in there. If you see something that says 10W40, that means when it's cold in the wintertime, it'll display the characteristics of a 10 weight oil. And the 10 weight is the viscosity. Weight Weight of an oil is viscosity or its resistance to flow. And so it's how well it flows under cold conditions. If you put a straight weight, 30 weight in your oil, in your, your engine, and then you go out there and it's 10 degrees out and you start your engine up, that oil is going to travel or, or flow just like molasses. It's going to be very, very thick. And when it tries to go up through your air filter or your oil filter, then it's just not. When it comes up here and it hits this oil filter and it tries to go through these little teeny, teeny holes that's in this paper element, it can't. It won't be able to flow through. And so this oil filter will actually open up. It'll actually move up. And there's a bypass on the bottom of it. And when this thing opens up, it's just the spring is going to force it to come up. Oil will come up through the center, travel around. It won't even go through this filter and go through the rest of your engine. And because it's really cold and very thick, it's going to be really hard to get through the filter. It's going to take a long time to get through your engine. And sensitive areas of your engine that have small ports are going to be starved for oil until it gets going well enough to lubricate it. And so you're actually going to run your engine on lack of lubrication or boundary lubrication for a period of time. And so they've come up and developed a multi-viscosity oil that has the characteristics of a 10 weight when it's cold and as you start your engine, you run it, and the engine warms up, the characteristics of that oil actually change, and it becomes thicker. And so it acts like a heavyweight oil when the oil gets hot. And it seems kind of weird that oil would just kind of like change. But we're going to watch a film when we get done here. And it's made by the British Petroleum Company. And they'll actually show you under a microscope the additive, they put an additive in oil, and you'll actually see the oil change. And it's these molecules, and as the molecules heat up, they bind together, and they become long chain molecules, and it makes the oil thicker. And it's kind of neat to watch it actually happen. So, what's like the actual number stand for? Like 10? Is that 10? 10 is, 
it's a rating of how fast it flows. And they put it in like a, a beaker with a little thing sticking out on the bottom, and they measure how long does it take for an ounce of oil to flow through this gauge, basically. Like and it's like 10, 10 seconds or so. I don't know how long it is. It's a time. And it's just, it's just an instrument they use to measure the flowability of oil. And in the film, they also show you how they do that, too. They show the instrument that actually does it. So, and this is just a rating of how thick and how well it flows. So you want thick in the summer and more in the, fluid in the winter? Under hot conditions, you want it to be a heavier weight. And under cold, you'd want it to be thinner. Most 